The question is, when we get in the paper and call names, I don't think that's the right way to handle it. When we get up in meetings and have shouting matches, I don't think that's the way for us to handle it. But I am so glad that there is a commitment from uh, all of them. And you can clap right there. <laughs> you can clap right there. Because there are a lot of people I know that are watching the city of Flint and watching the decisions that the leader in this area and even Genesee County as a whole, watching the decisions that we make. And I believe in this season, this is our last opportunity to get it right. Anybody feel the way that I do? It's our last opportunity to get it right. And I really believe that we are on the track to getting it right this time. What about you? Do you believe that? So again, I see some of my council colleagues out in the audience. Can you just kind of just wave your hand? Council President Jim Maddenick, I see him back there in his leadership. But again, unity, that's the only way that we can get it together. Standing together, working together, fighting for the same common goals is the only way that we can get this city back to the level in which that we all know and believe for it to be. I believe that we're on our way there. As a matter of fact, I'll take another step. I believe we're already there. Thank you. Thank you, Delvico. One of the great things about downtown Flint is the proximity of our beloved City Hall and county government, which sends a message in itself that we're just right across the street. This rally wouldn't be complete without the voice of county government, and I'm delighted to have the vice president of the, or the vice chair of the county, Genesee County Board of Commissioners, Patricia Lockwood. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you all for spending a few moments with us this afternoon. I bring you greetings from every village, city, township, to the city of Flint on behalf of the entire board of the county commissioners. Uh, the greatest asset that we have in Genesee County on behalf of every constituent in Genesee County are the people. The people that we represent the strong force that we have, the challenges that we're facing in Genesee County, all of those can be put to rest by the unity of the people of Genesee County. Great spirit, great togetherness, great will, great engagement. I want to say on behalf of all of our Board of Commissioners, our commitment to working closely on your behalf with all of the governments that make up our great county putting the new bridge that will bridge the gap between City Hall and the County Board of Commissioners Office. I understand you allocated a couple million dollars to that. I want to thank you so much for that. Looking forward to that. Thank you so much and on behalf of everyone here, we really appreciate all the support that we're getting throughout county government. Thank you. And a person who made this Better Together rally truly possible is Brenda Clack, County Commissioner, District 2. Brenda. Good evening, everyone. To God be the glory. Let me first congratulate Mayor Walling. We had conversation, and I've already done so, but I'm doing it again. Congratulations, Mayor Walling. I want to thank all of those. I want to personally thank all of those who had an integral role in my campaign. And I want to thank all of you who are here today. There's a reason we're here today. It's because you believe, as I believe, that there's a future in this city and that we can come together. The journey was long, but and it was worth it because we brought together many components of this community that perhaps would not have come together but they came together for a reason, and for that I'm thankful. So I want to thank all of the citizens of Flint who had a major role in bringing this day forward. I want to thank the religious leaders also, must not leave the religious leaders out, because they had a very, very important role, as they will, as they have today, in forming a bridge and bringing us together. Mr. Walling has a tremendous task ahead of him, but it's a task that I know he is thoroughly prepared for. A 
task that will even be more beneficial with you, each of you, contributing to making sure that his road is not as rocky as the economic predictions say, but making sure that his road is much smoother by coming together as you're doing today, as we're coming together as we're doing today. He deserves all of the respect. He deserves all of the help that we can give him to make sure that this community goes forward. The journey that was long was rough with crime, but we will do it. Together, we're going to make sure that that problem is, is resolved. The journey had economic problems, as they still do, but together, we're going to work and make sure that we're going to resolve some of those economic problems. We know that the city, the city has so many problems involving the issues of blight, the shrinking city that came up every time. But you know what? We persevered, and we will. We will, we'll do it together. And again, I want to say to our mayor, God bless you, Godspeed, and we together will make sure that his road is a lot smoother. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Clack. Now it's my pleasure to introduce to you the new mayor of the city of Flint, Dane Rawling. Well, let me also personally thank the Community Foundation and the American Democracy Project at the University of Michigan, all of the volunteers who helped pull this together all of our city workers and police officers who are out here to make this event a success. It always takes people working together to accomplish anything. Where you find a great leader, you find great followers. Where you find a community that's prosperous, you find people working together. And I believe that that's the spirit that we've gathered in here today. I also want to personally thank uh, Mrs. Commissioner Brenda Clack for her leadership at the county. I'm proud to call her my county commissioner and you can have uh, assurance that her and I will work closely together as we tackle the myriad of problems facing this community. I know that we are better together. We are better together as a community it is time for us to begin working together across the street, across the city, and across this region. The dividing lines that have kept us separated and have kept us weak, those lines have now been erased. We have a new opportunity ahead of us. And as your mayor, I will work tirelessly, not only for every citizen and every church and every business in the city of Flint, but I will be a champion for this entire region. Now, we want new jobs in Grand Blanc Township. We want new jobs in Fenton. We want new jobs on Flint's north side and on Flint's west and east side and south sides. Because no matter where those jobs are located, we're going to have people living and learning in this community. We all know in our own daily lives, you live one place, your children go to school in another, you shop in a whole variety of places, your friends live all over the region, you go to church back in the city even though you might